New package has arrived. I found this item from local online game shop. It is always funny to find another package inside package. Here are the contents of the package, PlayStation TV and power supply. PlayStation TV has PlayStation logo on the top side. On the bottom side you can find Sony logo and model number. On the left side there is PS Vita game card slot. First there is power button, then there is memory card slot, USB port, HDMI output port, LAN port and DC in a 5 volt connector. Let's first connect power supply to PlayStation TV. Controller is connected to PlayStation TV. This controller is DualShock 3 and it is compatible with PlayStation TV. Notice how small PlayStation TV is compared to the controller. Network cable is connected. HDMI cable to TV is connected. Power plug is connected. Power is turned on by pressing PlayStation TV power button on the back side. TV screen will stay black until you remember to press PlayStation button on controller. There are actually two different menu windows. This is first menu window. You can move to the second menu window by pressing down button. Important settings button is in the second menu. First I just wanted to check movies. It seems that you can manage videos by using Content Manager. After that I checked music. Here are the available buttons. Next, let's check PlayStation Store. I first checked latest game section. PlayStation Store in PlayStation TV uses wallet system. One way to deposit money to wallet is to buy PlayStation gift card. In some of these game descriptions there is a text which says that this game is compatible with PlayStation TV or that it requires Vita memory card.
After that I decided to check best of PlayStation section. Some of these games contain information about required memory card space. Notice that PlayStation TV has one gigabyte internal memory. So even if you don't have Vita memory card, you can play games that don't require so much memory. Then I checked PlayStation Vita games section. Then there is PlayStation Vita Games DLC section. Then comes PSP games section. Notice that you really can play PSP games with PlayStation TV.
After this comes PlayStation 1 Classic section. Notice that you can, for example, find Sukaden games from this section. Settings can be found by pressing down button. To delete old account, we need format option, which will put everything back to the default state. Here you can see available settings. To delete old account you will need format and then restore the system option. You will need access to the old account because this is asked when you confirm restore the system. Notice also that all data in the system storage will be deleted. To go forward, you need to check that controller is connected to the USB port and then you need to press PlayStation button. Time to select language. Then you need to adjust area to fit the TV display. After that comes time zone. Then comes date and time. You are asked whether you have Sony Entertainment Network account. And then whether you want to use your account on your PlayStation TV system. Time to log in. Then there is notification about parental controls. And finally home screen with hint. By pressing down button you can see settings. Let's first check whether the system has the last update. After this let's check system software version and available free space on memory card. Notice that this free memory is PlayStation TV internal memory, 1 gigabyte.
Nowadays, when you first time log into your PlayStation account, you need to set your sharing options. Here is one example where everything is set to none. Content Manager is one of those important apps. You can use it for deleting or copying files to another location. In this example, I remove Sukoden to make room for Shin Megami Tensei Persona game. I didn't have the PlayStation Vita memory card at the same time of this video, so I only had one gigabyte internal memory to use for games. Notice that the free space is 1045 megabytes. Time to download Shin Megami Tensei Persona. Let's go to PlayStation Store. Shin Megami Tensei Persona belongs to PSP game category. Notice that when you have paid the game, there is a download button. Time to play Shin Megami Tensei Persona. Here is starting intro.
there is gameplay capture just from the beginning.
This game uses special a place to save game.